Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do some advertising on Facebook, get some links to your blog, to your website, and uh, get it all Facebooked up. Okay, so if you visit facebook.com slash advertising, you're presented with this page that's their advertisement for how to advertise on Facebook. And so you could probably follow along, figure it out yourself if you would like to, but that's not why you're watching this video. So. Assuming you're logged into your Facebook account and you have a Facebook account, you'll need that in order to set up advertising, click over here on create an ad. Now, if this is your very first time, I think you'll have to set up uh, billing information uh, and things like that, but I don't want to undo mine right now, so that's where we are. Um, there's two ways, two things you can do here. Yes, you can have it at your advertisement linked to a Facebook page or a post on a page if you want, or you can have it linked to an external websites, you know, your blog, your your company's website. I'm going to focus on the second option where we go to external websites. Internal websites or pages on Facebook we'll cover in a future episode. In the field here you can enter your website. So just for fun I'll use my personal blog as a website to link to and it's going to try and find it, which hopefully it does. Because if it doesn't that'll be sad. So there you go. So it fills it in your ad uh, with a headline, which is the just the title of your website. It grabs the text from somewhere on your page, and away you go. So in my case, that's not a very exciting ad. I'm going to change the text to being something a little bit more appropriate. Uh, blogging about Apple, let's say. I can't type and talk at the same time, as you'll discover in the video. Um, so that's great. You can have a little byline. I'm not going to go into too much detail right now about the crafting a really good ad text, the headline and the text itself. Suffice to say, you can only have a certain amount of characters in each block. Uh, you'll be limited with how many words, what type of words you can use. Um, you can't promise things that you know your site doesn't deliver, those kinds of things. Um, but perhaps most importantly, you need to have an image to go along with your ad. So the image you use will obviously help draw people into your ad and want, make them want to click on it, find out more about you, about your website, about your thing, about your service, whatever it is you do. And you have a very small window of uh, 100 pixel wide by 72 pixels high image that you can use. So you, if you're aware of how to use an image editor, Photoshop, etc., you can make your own little image that fits that size. And in my case, I've got this scary looking picture of myself that's 480 pixels by 480 pixels. I can still choose that and let Facebook do its little cropping uh, on it so it still fits into that space. My image is there and looking creepy. Nobody's going to actually click on that. There's a checkbox here for a related page, which uh, you can read the description, but basically it, Facebook tries to find a related page if there's been a Facebook page created for your website that there where they could show a, a social activity, say somebody, so-and-so has liked this. Um, those kinds of things, Facebook related connections to your your website. Uh, in this case, for now, I'll keep it off just to keep things simple. Okay, that's it for part one of setting up your advertising on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe, hit the subscribe button down below if you want to be notified when episode two comes out, part two. Feel free to leave some comments if you have any questions. I'm iChris on Twitter. ChrisHands.com is my blog. LemonProductions.ca is my business. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Okay, that's it for part one of the uh, Facebook advertising. Okay, that's it for part one of advertising on Facebook. Stop shaking, iMac. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.